Hello and welcome to the Bird Tales. Today is November 5th. Sorry about the shadow. I'm tucked in behind the car trying to stay out of the wind. But I just finished up a really good hunt with Gilly out on this brand spanking new WPA behind me. And Gilly was all right. I think he was a little better than 50-50. So we headed down there. Um, it's not even restored yet for the most part. It's all plowed fields in the back there. And we made our way to uh, a couple potholes back there. And Gilly went on point on one of the potholes and I got in front of him and walked around and there was nothing there. And so he ran up ahead of me and I could tell, I mean, he was just running down the edge of the beans and I'm sure there was, the rooster was just sprinting down the edge of those beans getting to the next pothole. And so I did everything in my power to try and keep him back, keep him close to me, not let him get too far away, um, which we did for a little bit. But then we came up to the next pothole and he was searching around and didn't find the bird. And the crop field actually turned like this off to the west. And uh, he went off that way and I, I wasn't paying close enough attention and he ended up bumping the rooster out of range. And the rooster flew off on a private property so we couldn't chase him. So I was a little bit disappointed but it was no more than a minute later and Gilly goes on point in the next little part of the drainage. And so I got down in front of him and I'm walking around and as I'm sloshing on in front of him, he comes up a little bit closer and stops and points again. And then he comes a little closer and points again and now he's like 10 feet away from me on point, just googly eyed. And I figured, well, the bird's gotta be behind me now, headed that way, but it was actually right at my feet. Well, the rooster flushed and he stayed real low uh, and Gilly was right behind him. And I know there's gonna be somebody who says, that's why you need to train your dog to be steady to the shot, whatever. But Gilly's right behind him and the bird kinda turns to the right. If he would've just kept low and stayed on course, I wouldn't have been able to shoot. But he veered to the right a little bit, got in front of Gilly um, and I was able to get a shot off and, and hit him. Good boy. But then we, go. uh, we continued on our way. Uh, Gilly went on point again in this cat in another chunk of cattails. He was 30 yards in there, uh, and I started walking in, and the rooster flushed. And so I don't know if the rooster flushed because he heard me coming, or if Gilly broke. I don't know. I just started walking in. Gilly had been on point for maybe 20 seconds, and the rooster flushed. So then we worked our way down to uh, this big chunk of willows down behind me here, and. Gilly ran in there and there was four or five birds in there and I don't know, four or five birds came flying out. Um, no points, no nothing, just chaos. So he obviously just tore through there and got everything up. But then uh, I watched one of, the, one of the roosters come down and land right here behind me while we were way over there on the other side, I seen him land. And so we worked our way around the slough. Um, Gilly had a really nice point on a hen over here. Boy, Gilly. Then we got up here and this rooster messed with us. Um, Gilly went on point, um, right down there, he went on point and we, we started heading that way, back towards the slough. Um, we ended up turning around and coming back this way and Gilly went on point again. And so I'm working in front of him and he did a great job of holding there, um, but no bird got up. So I let okay. him go and I was actually, I was seeing things because I could have swore I could see something moving in the grass off to my right, but it must have just been the wind. So I, I was walking towards whatever I thought was in the grass to my right, and then the bird flushed off to my left. That was the end of our day. So it was a good hunt. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for next time. See ya.